Hey, Blaine from Current Automotive here, and welcome to part three of our series on Tesla Autopilot. If you haven't seen the first two parts of this series about Autopilot hardware and Autopilot software, you should check them out. They're in a playlist linked in the video description below. Active safety features like lane keeping assist and automatic emergency braking are high demand features for the newest cars sold on the road today. And they're even included in the ratings that the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety uses on new vehicles in a category called Crash Mitigation and Avoidance Technology. Now the autopilot hardware that's been sold standard on all new Teslas since September 2014 has all of the ingredients needed to create a really great suite of active safety features. And in May of 2019, Tesla made safety standard by including active safety features on all cars with autopilot hardware, even if they don't have autopilot software installed. And that was a retroactive update for all Teslas on the road, even if they were sold in 2014. And it goes forward to all new cars as well. So let's take a dive into the active safety features included standard on almost every single Tesla on the road today. First up is automatic emergency braking. As the name implies, this feature will apply the brakes if the car detects an obstacle in front of it. The hope is that automatic emergency braking can avoid an accident entirely, but even if the car can't stop in time to completely avoid one, there will be a lower impact speed, lowering the chance that occupants will be injured. Forward collision warning also responds to obstacles in front of the car, but it only provides an audible and visible warning of a potential collision. The goal here is to prompt the driver to respond before the car even needs to step in with automatic emergency braking. Forward collision warning can be configured to warn you early, late, or medium, depending on how conservative you want the system to be. Obstacle aware acceleration is relatively unique to Tesla. Basically, if there's an obstacle in front of the car and you were to stomp down on the accelerator pedal, it tones back the car to response to keep you from ramming into it. Side collision warning will warn the driver of obstacles alongside the car. And similarly, blind spot monitoring will warn you of cars in your blind spot when you go to make a lane change. Lane departure avoidance watches the lane lines in the road and will nudge you back into the lane if you start to leave it. This is not meant as a substitute for auto steer, it's just here to help keep you from drifting. Lane departure avoidance can also be configured as a warning chime so that the car will tell you you're drifting and you can correct on your own rather than having the car correct itself for you. Emergency lane departure avoidance is a little more extreme. It will steer your car back into the lane if you're departing and there's a high risk of a collision. Now, a common criticism of these types of active safety features from all automakers is that they're a little intrusive and not everybody likes to use them. So most cars with such features have the option to turn them off, and Tesla is no exception. Each of the active safety features can be toggled on or off independently in the autopilot menu. That way, you can customize the system to work best for you. Something really important to remember is that these active safety features are by no means a substitute for driver attention. Just like with autopilot software, it's still on you to pay attention when you're behind the wheel of your Tesla but they are here to catch you in case you do make a mistake or if you're caught off guard, and overall they do make your vehicle safer. If you have any questions about Autopilot active safety features, please post them in the comments and I'll try to answer. And stay tuned for more Tesla, Autopilot, and electric vehicle content from Current Automotive. Thanks for watching.